Welding time. Welding time. Pull our seams over. Morning, folks. YouTube world. It's a new day, and we're going to get out here and uh, start doing a little bit more practice. Uh, I've kind of monkeyed around with a few shoes and starting to try to figure them out. Um, probably the toughest shoe for me right now is that G bar heart bar or whatever they want to call it. Uh, I've tried a couple different methods on getting it bent around and welded up, and it's tough. I'll show you kind of a uh, what I've got so far and I'm gonna try to do a little bit different system that reached out to my friend Troy Wood and he kind of just laid it out for me on how to go about it so I'm gonna try his uh, way of doing it and see if it comes out better so far these are what I've gotten so far so this is my first one and you can see they're pretty well failed weld right there after I got done creasing it and that's not gonna work this is my number two I tried kind of doing it the same way where or actually i tried doing this one different where i brought the bar across through here and it obviously failed right there and i think this was my this was my second one here and i tried jumping it across right there and that didn't work so the way that he's kind of lined it out for me is this this and this is all built out of the same branch and then you weld it right here versus i was making my frog plate and then drawing material out there off the tip of the frog plate and welding it here whereas we'll make the frog plate draw that across and then build the shoe around that and then weld it here so let's uh see if we can try that so all there's left to do now is we'll get the forge lit cut some steel and get after it let's do it Propane forge. Crank it. Now we get some coke. Grab a little makeshift rasp, rasp tray. Sprinkle a little coke on her. We just go in the fire. heat up a little bit. Now we'll clean out the coke pot here. This is the process I use every time for lighting my uh, coke forge basically. Get the clinker out of here. You don't want that if we're welding. You don't want that when you're making any shoes really. Now we just wait for the uh, coke to heat up in the propane forge, and then we'll kick the air on and start at it. Got the air going and then I'll just start pouring on a little bit of coke. Now we just uh, give it some air and let it start to build and then I'll pour on some more fresh coke here shortly. Oh yeah, she's ripping now. I'd say she's lit and ready to go. Let's get some steel measured. So it's 15 inches, and I think uh, the ticket's going to be is we're going to start by just bumping up this frog plate and building the frog plate by bumping it and gathering it up to make like a triangle. So we'll start with that first. Start bumping it up. Yeah. 
see what we got bumped into that one heat. It's only three quarters of an inch, so we gotta keep going. using the heel of my hammer and digging into this corner with the tip of the plate. We're about two and a half tall by one and a half wide, so now we'll build across the, uh, the doohickey part that goes across to the medial branch. Did that right, so I'm just gonna do a quick little forge weld and clean up that crack real quick. Start bending it around, seeing how she goes. It's going kind of tough. It's tough. So it's got to go around this way. gonna give you guys exactly the number because you can figure that out on your own. How about that? Now we'll just put a toe in it. It doesn't need much for that little branch there. Alright. So we're doing a toe bend way over here.
right now, the way it sits, I can tell. Here, I'll bring you in a little closer. So the way it's sitting right now, I can tell that needs to be brought over a lot more because this is supposed to be straight across right there. And if I line my toe up kind of how I think it's going to be, that's just hanging out. So that's got to come way across here. So I'm going to try and bend this first and then we'll see kind of where we end up. Trial and error, folks. Trial and error. All right, I went against what I, was gonna, what I said. I'm gonna try and get this more to what it's supposed to be. spot that I had before when I was welding the other way so I'm gonna have to try it again and figure out that area that junction welding time welding time
another weld heat on it, finish cleaning it up. Last weld heat here. I already, know, I already know my frog plate's too short, and that's kind of what's throwing it all off right now. But I'll pull it on this other side, and then we'll uh, I'll measure it up. And I gotta put the roll toe in there, and then we'll see where we're at measurement-wise. All right, I got this lateral side fullered. Now we need to do the rolled toe. I'll kind of check it out some measurements right now. It's supposed to be five and an eighth wide, and I'm at like five-ish. Just don't tickle over five. And it's supposed to be five and seven eighths from center of toe. Pretty close to size there. But it's gonna grow when I do this uh, rolled toe. So I'm not gonna quarter clip this one, but I am gonna put the rolled toe in it and uh, go from there. Put the rolled toe in.
like this is supposed to be one and a seven eighths. From here to here. It's a short. My frog plate is two and seven six two and seven sixteenths long. It needs to be taller. I'm gonna make another one, but I'm gonna do it the same process in which I built this one, but try to uh, do it better. But this is a good starting point compared to uh, my other ones. <laughs> I'll be happy. I'm happy with that process. All right, touch back with you when I get done with the other one. All right, I'm finishing up here my second one of the morning. So I'll put the roll toe on here. And I'll kind of take you guys through what I have come up with. So far, I mean, the process seems to work pretty dang good. But my frog plate is still small. Let's measure it. Five and an eighth. Six and an eighth, so I'm big. One in three quarter, but my frog plate is just teeny weeny. It's crazy, like that's two and a half. When I'm building it, it looks like it's big, but it's obviously not. I think it needs to come up to be about right there. I need to get it quite a bit bigger. So we're at two and a half. I need to try to get it to three inches. So I'm gonna make another one. Try to make a bigger frog bite, but I'm happy with the progress so far. So I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back in. Also, this is straight right here. I need to figure out how to get this have a S into it because it has a scoop scoops out right in here, I believe. So that's another thing I gotta do. So let's make another one. Well, folks, got a long frog plate on this one. This is the, uh, my third one using this process. I think we're getting closer. Put on this roll toe, set toe, whatever. My frog plate's nice and uh, longer. I haven't measured it yet. Sure does look good to you, though. Golly, tough shoe. Let's measure it. Go from there. There, just at six, at five there, so I'm a little narrow. So, and then this here, from the inside there, that's like one and seven eighths to the lateral side. To so the tip is one and three quarter, but if it's being measured out here, that's two and a half. Frog plate is. Right at three, so that's kind of what I was hoping for. I don't really have the scoop in there on that. Um, wouldn't be much to just draw that down to get that element. So I think we're getting closer. We're getting closer, that's for sure. Just needs to be refined a little bit more, and uh, yeah, let's try and make another, folks. This is the last one I'm gonna make for now. Number four for the day. I think it's uh, getting closer on the, uh, the process itself. Getting a little better. This is the last one. So we got number one, short stubby little guy. Two, a little more defined. Three, longer frog plate, but just off. Number four, uh, a little weak in here for sure better frog plate i think it needs to be a little bit wider this way but i'm uh pretty happy with the progress today i'll uh catch you guys on another video here probably make some more different shoes and help you out along the way